Everybody, welcome back. Before we dive into this video, I want to give you a quick introduction. This video was initially one longer video, and I ended up having to chop it up into two separate videos because I can talk for a really long time, and the video just ended up being too long. It ended up being closer to almost 45, 50 minutes in length. And it's something I'm just really working on. Um, now that I'm back to YouTubing and, and uploading content all the time, I'm using new equipment. I'm just, I'm getting so excited with putting content out there on a regular basis that sometimes I just get distracted with recording and I'm working on it guys. I'm working on um, production and, and I'm working on ways that I can be concise but not be too concise because I do get complaints from you guys when I make short videos. So um, sometimes it's shocking. It was shocking for me when I, when I produced this video and I was looking at all of the content to edit it and I'm like, wait a minute, are these two videos totaling almost 30 minutes in length? <laughs> it, was, it was actually quite humorous. I guess you had to be there. Anyway, so for those of you tuning in, please be sure that you go watch part one first. It is linked down below. Um, part two, which you're watching right now, it's gonna make a whole lot more sense contextually if you go watch part one, because part one is like the layup. You'll, you'll understand, and, and I really need you to go watch part one first because these two flow together. So go watch part one first. This will make more sense. These two videos go together. Um, go watch part one, then come back and watch this. And again, I apologize. I will be more organized next time I, I shoot my videos. But the content of both of these videos was important enough for me to leave it as is and just divide it up in two. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learn from it and I hope it was impactful and I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Guys, wanna wrap up this <clears throat> video, excuse me, with part two. I referenced this in the beginning of the video, but when I was chatting with a friend of mine today, I realized that um, as I was reflecting back and, and talking about, she's like, you know, how long have you been keto? And then I was counting the months and I'm like, oh my God, five months. You know, it didn't, it didn't feel that long. And yet I've realized that in many ways, it kind of seems like, well, it doesn't seem like it. As I've been taking my measurements the past couple of months, things have been seeming to accelerate. And I'm like, how is that happening when I really haven't, I kind of just started working out again. And I was like, well, it can't be because of my working out. So, so like, what is it? I haven't really like dramatically changed my diet. And then I realized like, okay, I know, I know there's, there's just a few things that I have. I just got thirsty and I have like one sip of ketones left. I wish I would have made myself a whole one. Um, I realized that there were just a few things that I had changed slash gotten back to. And these are really important. Um, and these are things that I'm making a concerted effort focus to get back to. And so I'm going to summarize these. And these are also going to be um, in a blog post that I'll be publishing later this week on kellyalexa.com. So make sure you head on over there. I'll link it up uh, below so you can head on over there and uh, get yourself subscribed. But these are some of the, the habits or um, practices or tools that I'm depending on um, that I've reincorporated into my life that I know are making a difference as well. So obviously I mentioned in the first part of the video, <clears throat> excuse me, going keto <laughs> was number one, the first biggest change that was first and foremost. Um, number, th that's number one. So let's just put that out there, That that's part one. <sighs> part two, this is second part of the video, all of the things that I'm focusing on now that have made a big, that are making the, the big changes in my life. So number one, um, focusing on meals and not snacks. Um, this has been a real problem for me in the past has been being a snackaholic versus eating meals. For those of you that, that 
work from home. I don't know if this is a problem for you, but I think it can be, I've had a lot of people say when I share this on social, they're like, oh my God, I do the same thing. It's very easy to graze when you work from home um, instead of eating meals. And when you do that, you, you can just end up either A, eating a lot more calories than you realize, or B, just not getting nearly enough to eat. It can be kind of one extreme or the other. You can either eat way too much or way too little. Um, and, and either way, you're not doing yourself any favors. And, and I think I've swung in both directions. Um, I tend to, I'll have like a week where I just, and, and that's the problem too is that you can get yourself into a bad habit of like grazing and eating too little. And the problem when you graze and eat too little is your appetite kind of adjusts in my experience. Like your, your appetite will get to the point where you're, you're eating so little that your, your appetite, you won't want as much. And so you don't crave as much and you won't eat as much. And that's not good. Our bodies, we need to fuel ourselves. And in my experience as well, that can also affect your, your working out. So if, you, if you're not fueling yourself, you won't have the energy and then you're not going to want to work out. All of this stuff is interconnected, okay? So you've got to fuel yourself. You've got to give yourself energy. You've got to energize because that's also going to affect your working out, okay? So meals, not snacks. Number two supplements this is so important supplements slash vitamins um and and a lot of these things kind of overlap you know whether what you want to call them or or not you know some some people might call ketones a supplement whatever you want to call it i don't care but there are several products that i've started taking and um i had gotten really really bad about gosh when I was living in Austin, before I moved down here to San Antonio, I was religious about taking my vitamins and my supplements every day. Then I moved to San Antonio, and I don't know if it's just when I moved and I got out of the, you know, the habit of where I put things in my cabinets and, and just, you know, you get used to things. I just got out of the habit of taking my vitamins and my supplements, and it took a while for me to... I, I've just been off and on for the better part of a year. And I noticed the thing that made me notice how bad I'd gotten was the reintroduction of headaches back into my life. Because one of the things that when I went to see a neurologist, she told me would help me keep headaches out of my life is taking vitamin B2 and CoQ10. These are just over the counter um, I almost said over-the-counter drugs, but over-the-counter vitamins. And if you go to amazon.com and you just read, if for those of you that suffer from headaches, if you just go and read the reviews of any brand of vitamin B2 and any brand of CoQ10, you will see that there are thousands of reviews of people who have had their lives changed by taking those two vitamins. And it's so funny because there are other things that I've had, I've done the research on. Um, I'm trying to think of what it is for liver health. Um, I think it's dandelion root. There, there's other things that are really simple and you go and you'll have a, you, you might read a book. Magnesium is, is hugely important. Most of us are deficient in magnesium. Magnesium is also very important. That's the other um, it's the mineral that my doctor told me to take 500 milligrams of that every single night. Um, and I never stopped taking that. But anyway, some of these things are so simple and it's funny because I think that the reason a lot of us stop taking vitamins or, or minerals or whatever is when we take them, it's not like we take them and we experience some, you know, jolt of, you know, overnight, like, oh, wow, my arm just grew an inch. It's like, we just take them and nothing happens. So we don't see a change. We don't, we don't see our eyelashes grow a foot. We don't see our nails grow a foot. Like it, it, we don't experience tangible results that moment. 
So it's easy to think, well, this probably isn't working. I'm just spending money on pills that I'm taking. It's no big deal. And I think it's very easy. I don't like taking all those pills. I hate taking all those pills. And for me, I definitely can get into the point where I'm like, this is such a pain. I hate setting all the pills out. I hate taking all the pills. It, I have a very small throat and it makes me gag a lot of times. I got out of the habit of it. Well, guess what? Started getting headaches again. Guess what? Started having gut issues again. Guess what? One of the pills I take is called Dehist. It's uh, for allergies. I started sneezing all the time. Here's the thing. I started taking my supplements again. And I also started adding other supplements again because when I realized that the simple, simple thing of not taking my supplements had made me start having headaches every day again. And within a week of me getting back to taking my supplements every day, I was no longer having daily headaches. I was like, are you kidding me right now? Like just me buying a $10 bottle of B2 and CoQ10 and I cannot have to have take Excedrin every day, which is destroying my gut. Guys, supplements and vitamins are so important and they work if you take them. And they don't just work for headaches. They work for your gut. They work for your health. They work for longevity. They work if you take them. And there's I mean, certainly so many supplements, so many things for, for, for so many other things, okay? So um, obviously there are some other things that I've added. I've talked about the ketones. I am psycho-evangelistic about ketones. Um, I will do a whole other video about them. Um, I've talked about ketones in my other videos. I will link up to those as well. I take exogenous ketones for um, both my husband and I do. You don't have to be keto to take ketones and benefit from them. This is brain food. Ketones will help you with appetite suppression. It will uh, curb your appetite. It will help with um, energy. Um, I was having to take a nap virtually every afternoon. I no longer have to take a nap. So it's helped with energy. It helps me with focus during the workday and it helps with uh, appetite suppression. Those are the three primary things. It also helps with digestion. Um, I would not go a day without them. I take two a day, um, swear by them. The other, um, and I'm gonna link also to any of these things. If you have questions about these products, I am a distributor for uh, the ketones. The other uh, supplements that I have added, um, and I think what I'm going to do too, probably my next video, maybe I'll do this on Thursday, will be a video specifically on the supplements that I take. I've had that be one of my top requests. I just will do that with the caveat of, hey, these are the supplements I take, but you know, particularly with some of the supplements, um, vitamins wise and and you know there's got to be a disclaimer there that some of these are specifically chosen for me by my doctor um, and I'll go over the bioidenticals that I take you know so that you can know hey here's what I take and these are prescribed by my doctor obviously these are compounded by my doctor these can also be compounded for you by your doctor if you get blood work done and you get but you know done by your doctor but life can change when you get you know your blood work done and you go to see a doctor so Let's wrap this up. Uh, the other things that I've started taking recently in the past couple of months, um, I have added in two products by Modere, um, which I swear by. I'm taking liquid collagen. Um, both my husband and I take that in the morning and the evening. Let me tell you something, this liquid collagen is no joke. I have taken that for two months. When they say that stuff makes your hair, skin, and nails, explode they're not joking i have had you guys know i got my hair obviously chopped in a, in a bob i just went and got my hair cut for the second time in two months the first time she told me she cut off close to two inches this last time she cut off an inch and a half so in two months i've had my hair cut almost four inches that's from i mean that's from liquid collagen and she said my hair is so much fuller um so this liquid collagen is no joke. It also is amazing for, for skin. So my husband is taking it as well as me. Um, we are also both taking um, this product, which is the number one weight loss product on, I almost said that on the planet. It's 
the number one weight loss product in the country. Uh, it is called the Trim, and uh, that is uh, CLA and uh, I believe, I'm a little embarrassed, I'm very new as a distributor with the company. So uh, primarily CLA. Um, and I, I do firmly believe that the fact that I've only added those products in the last two months and I've seen such an acceleration in my weight loss in the last two months, I have to believe that those two are a contributor to that. So um, I will link those down below. We always have specials for uh, new customers on that. So if you have any questions, obviously ping me on those. Now is a great time um, for you to uh, dive in and start on those. Plus they taste delicious. Um, so I talked about supplements. I talked about meals, not snacks, hydration. This is a simple one for all of us but that's also something that was contributing to me having headaches. It's also something that is contributing to weight loss. If you are not hydrating, you're not going to have um, a really positive experience with elimination. If you're not having a positive experience with elimination, you're not gonna lose weight. Um, you've gotta have a positive experience with elimination. That means going to the bathroom, people, if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so you've gotta have hydration. I was horrible with hydration. So I am back to focusing on water. Now, one of the reasons that, I, this might sound silly, one of the reasons that I actually was starting, that I told myself I was gonna try out these exogenous ketones was I knew that it was going to, if nothing else, it was gonna make me drink two big glasses of water just by having two jugs of ketones. Because you know, all you do is you fill this up with water, you add your powdered ketones to it. But still, I need to have more water than just my two drinks of ketones. So now what I do, I had gotten into the habit of letting myself have soda during the day. So now I'm back to having no soda during the day. I can only have soda at night. Um, that's kind of like my treat at night. So I only have exogenous ketones during the day um, and I have soda at night as a treat. Um, so meals, not snacks, um, water and hydration, supplements, um, Oh gosh, there was something else I was just going to say and I just, I just lost it. Self-care, 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 self-care. I went for a, and I told you guys I was talking to my massage therapist yesterday. One of the big things that we all need to do more of as adults, this is so key. It is our country's culture to idealize being a workaholic. And I am so guilty of this more than anybody because I love my comp. I've, I've been the owner of my own company since 2011, okay? I founded my first company in 2011. I founded my second company in 2018. Um, plus I have a blog, I have a YouTube channel. I love doing all of this stuff. My problem is I love doing all this stuff. My problem is I'm an overachiever. My problem is um, I always love take, tackling on more. I love learning. I love taking courses. I'm a courseaholic. I, I, it's very hard for me to pull myself away. It's very hard for me to say, I can do that later. You know, like today, um, I really had thought about not recording a YouTube video. I was like, I really don't have a lot of time. I've got stuff that I need to do, but I'm like, just do it. And sometimes it's, it's a challenge for me. It's a challenge for me to say no to things. And one of the things that I have had issues with is self-care and, and making a priority for self-care because I have a real problem pulling myself away from this office. And one of the things that I used to be really good at is making myself and my self-care a priority. And I used to be religious about every week, one to two, uh, massages a week, one visit to the chiropractor, one to two visits to the chiropractor a week. I used to train when I was in Austin, I was training with my trainer uh, four times a week. And when I would go visit, when I would train with my trainer, I just turned my phone off and I didn't let anybody disturb me. Um, I would go shopping at least, like go out and go shopping and not let anybody bother me. And, and I would go out and I would go out with girlfriends, you know, once or twice a week. And lately, you know, my husband will come home and go, 
Did you leave the house today? Did you go out? Did you go tanning? Did you meet somebody for lunch? What are you going to do this week? And, and he'll have to be the person nudging me like, you've got to go out. You've got to. And, and I haven't done that. I, and I, I went out for my massage yesterday because my neck had got, it had been so long. It had been like six weeks since I'd been for a massage. It had been forever. I hadn't, I haven't been to the chiropractor and my, my neck was so jacked. My calves, because I'd started working out again, my calves had gotten so jacked that I was getting Charlie horses in the middle of the night. We can't work so hard and push ourselves so hard and diet so hard and, and just go, 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 go and have no balance. Like You've got to, you've got to have like your life be a pie chart and have equal parts like love, spirit, fun, fitness, work, and have it be equal parts instead of like it's all work and then a little bit of fitness and a little bit of like spirituality and a little, you know what I'm saying? Equal pie charts. If you don't do that, you're going to just, none of the other stuff even matters, you know? Like, why even worry about your fitness if you're going to end up dead in the hospital? Why even worry about work if, I mean, it just, you, we've, got to, we've, we've got to start making our priorities straight. And these are the things that I have started to balance more. And when you balance more and you pull back and you get your priorities straight, Everything else starts straightening out and, and just getting into an alignment. So that's what I encourage you to do. And I know that sounds really simple, like snacks, hydration, or meals instead of snacks, hydration, supplements, and, um, you know, getting into an alignment and, and self-care. And, and, and I would say sleep as a, as a, like, last one. Focus on your sleep. Get good sleep. It really is. If you focus on those things, making the important things the important things, all of this stuff falls into place. I know I went like 27 minutes longer than I said I would, but you guys know me. That's just the way it rolls. So I hope this was helpful, but here's the thing. Guys, gals, this keto thing has transformed my life. I want it to transform yours. This is why I'm so dedicated to providing as much information as I can because I want you to experience this transformation. I want you to be able to walk into your closet and hear the angels sing. I want you to know what it's like to feel like you're freaking 20 again, to be walking into a restaurant and strutting and, and having your husband doing a double take like mine is every time he sees me. I mean, it is the best feeling ever. And it's not just about feeling superficial. It's just, yeah, it's about feeling superficial. But I mean, on the other hand, it's just about feeling healthy and knowing you can like do anything and, and, and having the energy and, and just, <sighs> Words can't even describe it. It's, it's just like health is wealth, man. Health is wealth. You should be going for it with all you can. So all I have to say, I'm going to challenge you. Why should you not try this? If you're watching this video and you're frustrated AF, why should you not try this? I challenge you. I dare you. Reach out to me. I'm happy to answer any questions. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, if you have questions and you want to learn more about keto and weight loss and just getting fit after 40, I've got a ton of videos already uploaded from my new YouTube efforts. Please make sure you click on this new playlist that I'm linking up. Let me